Death is often a frightening thought, but one that we should not be scared of. When you truly understand that, you will no longer have to be scared of it. When we are able to understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made this dunya a test for the believers and that this is not a real home, you will truly be able to find peace within your heart. You think, you think that that is scary, but this dunya is scarier. The reality of this dunya is that we often excuse our poor behavior of the neglection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala due to our worldly responsibilities. You may be thinking, well, what will happen after that in Islam? In Islamic tradition, the following is what occurs what an, after an individual passes away. The occurrence is not always as you may expect and it can strike you at any time whether you like it or not. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends his angel Israel, known as the angel of death, to retrieve the soul from the human after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has instructed Israel salam, to take your soul you are then declared dead in the world of the dunya. Allah takes the soul at the time of their death. After you have died, your family and Muslim community will conduct your ghusl and then proceed to your janazah, which is a part of the Islamic funeral rituals. After this and many prayers, your body is then buried six feet underground alone and by itself. After some time in your grave, you are then visited by two angels known as Munkir and Akir. They are assigned to test the faith of those dead within their graves. <clears throat> when they arrive, they sit you up in your grave and ask you the following. Who is your Lord? Who is your Prophet? And what is your faith? When this is completed, you have been determined to either rest in peace until the Day of Judgment or you are severely punished by angels until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala determines otherwise until the day of resurrection. You will, end up, you will have now entered the stage of Arzaf. The veil or barrier which stands between two things that are not able to meet. You can easily interpret this stage as a waiting period until the day of judgment. A separation between the living and the hereafter. In the Holy Quran, Allah says that I might do righteousness in that which I left behind. No, it's only a word he is saying and behind them is a barrier until the day they are resurrected. <clears throat> the stage of Barsa is a world similar to this world, but different. The treatment and style of claiming they receive with the interspace of Barsa is a reflection of their deeds and actions performed in the dunya. It is believed that if the individual was a firm and devout servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are expected to receive many pleasures during this middle age. If they have committed many sins or are kafis, the disbelievers, they will face a hard time during this stage. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands this stage to be over, the day of resurrection will arrive and all of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creations will be brought before him to be judged. It is known to man when the day of judgment will occur. However, our beloved Prophet Muhammad وسلم, has told us the signs which will occur in preparation for this day. There are many minor and major signs which will indicate that the time is near. The most well known of them will be the appearance of the Dajjal and the return of Prophet Isa. Salam. The day which lasts 50,000 years is a day in which Muslims spend their whole lives preparing for. All of mankind will come bearing the book of what they had did within their lives. All their sins and good deeds will be judged by the ultimate judge. The day of resurrection is the final test all of creation will have to face before they reach their final destination for eternity, whether that be hell or heaven. We we'll believe that we will all 
be resurrected according to the way we lived and the way we died. What, whether that being good deeds or sins, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring you back to that state. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes our journey across the sirat to paradise easy and prevents us from falling into the fires of hell. My dear brother and sister, performing good deeds is the best way to make your journey in the afterlife a simple one. It is narrated that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said that when a man dies, his deeds come to an end except for three things, sadqa or knowledge which is beneficial, or a virtual descendant who prays for him.